Making another green juice. I'm down. I've already chopped up kale, um, put some spinach in there, some parsley, some Granny Smith apple. I've put ginger, a good amount of ginger. I left the skin on because juicing it will just go out through the back with the pulp, so you don't have to worry about the skin. I put one lemon with the skin on, and this one I just peeled the skin off. I'm gonna chop it into maybe two or four so it fits through the chute and last time i lost my footage so i'm going to put it together for you and juice it in the front of the camera i lost that footage with the um other juicing on my last video so we're gonna just this is celery you'll see everything as i put it in so the first thing with the hair on this is a rose gold um, Hiram here. I'm going to put, uh, they're in the dishwasher. I'm going to put, yeah, the container that catches the pulp and the, the container that catches the juice. It actually has measurements on it. I have those ready. This is the main part that goes on first. It looks like that. That's where the like juice exits right here, this lever there. You can close it and let the juice build up and then open it, or you can leave it halfway. I do the halfway so I can let as much juice build up as possible. So you snap that on, and then this filter goes here. They also have a filter for nut milk. Um, it looks like it looks like this the nut milk filter and then it has something like this i might try to do almond milk um not might i definitely want to try and do my own almond milk instead of buying it so this goes in so we'll do that in the future you hear a click that's it and then you have the actual like grinding motor i like to call this um i'm sure they call it something else <laughs> So that goes in, and then you hear a click as well. I'm twisting it, but I never get this down fully, so I'm trying to get it down. So it's a good thing that maybe you didn't see last time. Because <laughs> I don't really use it as much as I should. I'm starting to because of um, this whole losing the COVID weight thing. See, okay, that snapped in fully. When that snaps in, the inside hooks in better. So this is where the catcher is going to be in that one. So you can see the juices coming out. I'm going to turn it around. Turn it right here. Hopefully you can see. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. My battery died. Um, I don't know, hopefully that other stuff was recorded. So it's all put together and we're gonna just put the top on. Oops, I need some more space to put this top on. And we're gonna zoom in. Zoom in a bit. So you can see the juice come out and you can see the other part here. This is where the pulp is gonna come out. And um, this is where you feed the um, vegetables and fruits or you have to line up that arrow, that arrow right there, with the arrow at the top of the space right here.
So I'm just gonna, I don't know, turn it all the way around. That's not the way it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna start at like nine o'clock and then turn it towards 12. Yep, that worked great. Thank God, because I haven't been doing that too well. I'm gonna plug it in and get started. So I'm not gonna cut up the stuff because I already cut it up. Like everything's there, this except for the celery. I used two apples, two lemons. Um, I left the skin on one lemon just to see what that tastes like this time. I think those ingredients, you know, I mean the nutrients in there might be good. So um, I usually like the taste of the juice. It tastes like lemonade with ginger in it to me. I put um, a good size piece of ginger, like like this much ginger. Let me try to find them so maybe I can show you. Um, some people say a thumb size, but I like this much ginger and it's like really good for you, your immune system and everything. So this is how much ginger I did. I left the skin on, like I said earlier, cause it will come out of the um, back with the pulp. So if you're like making a smoothie and a Nutri Ninja type thing, then you need to remove the ginger skin cause you don't want to do that. Cucumber skin is very good for you. I, I did an entire, like, a whole cucumber. And, um, yeah, parsley, a little spinach. I would say, like, maybe two handfuls. I didn't have a lot left. And um, a lot of kale, which was nicely preserved in the um, crisper of the fridge. So we're going to get started. And, yeah, this is going to make, like, ah... I can never know how much it'll make, but I really think it'll be at least four glasses, like wine glasses of juice, which I might have all today, but um, I could also split it up to another day. Yeah, I'm gonna get started by turning it on at the back. There's a switch that's on, off, and then there's a sort of, there's on, sorry, there's off, and there's a reverse. So once it's spinning and grinding one way, you can pick up the rest of the like debris by going the opposite way and then you get like all the juice. This is a really good juicer. Um, so let's get started. Maybe a celery first. I wouldn't, I don't know what to recommend for like what order to do it. Um, I did used to juice a lot from a like, grocery store and so I would watch what they would do. I'm going to take off the base of this celery. I'm going to put the whole thing in there because it's not too much. You don't want to shove too much in there because it did get stuck once and like a little piece of plastic broke. Um, and if it stops working, I can replace that part online with here. And there's actually this stick to push stuff down. Never put your fingers inside. I have to chop up the cucumber. There's no pulp coming out yet. I always have it in the middle, like half open, half closed. A lot of juice coming out. Oops, I'm blocking the juice, I'm sorry. I think I did not push stuff down properly, so spinach parsley. Yeah. The last thing I need is for this to fall over, so let me push it back a bit. My juice is good. stuff is a little old, but it's still good because my fridge kept it well. Like if it was slimy or smelly, I wouldn't use it. Um, but 
but it's doing pretty well. That's why you need this stick. You're not supposed to put your fingers in there like at all. You can leave it towards the top, but never put your fingers in to um, this spout up here. is about two to three glasses. Oh, we have more in here. I forgot to close it. So we're going to open it up after this comes out. Okay. Wow, look at that. I absolutely love this. And it is better than any coffee, any kind of stimulant. It is nature's gift. I love it. gives me a lot of energy. It's like amazing. Should I mix it with my wine? <laughs> I'm going to do a little um, Instagram video. add it to the wine and see how that goes. <laughs> I hope it doesn't like kill the nutrients. I don't think it would. I'm gonna drink it right away. Mmm, cheers. 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 for the freaking cleanup. So you take this off. You've got a little bit of greens in there. I will rinse it right away and then I go in with soap. They also come with, comes with these 
brushes and a stand to put it on, which I have in there in my cabinet. And like you get to really get in the crevices and clean it really well. Um, the stand looks like this. And so you end up having all these little pieces go on here. And then here the base stays on my countertop. So this is really cool. It's neat and organized. Maybe I'll show you a screenshot of what it looks like later. The tools go in there. So yeah, I'm going to pull out, like maybe I'll take off the whole top and show you. See, there's still a piece of apple in there. Oh, you can work. And there's still some stuff in there, but because I didn't push more, it didn't all come out. But usually, it doesn't leave big pieces like that. And so you just want to turn counterclockwise and pull it outwards. It does take a little work, see what just happened. That looks like that. This has a little bit of green on it. Not too much. It has a lot of stuff in here, so I usually take this pulp out. It's just pulp. It's not anything solid or with juice and I'll throw the excess into the garbage and then rinse this on your tape. Sorry for the noise. And then I'm going to rinse that out with the spray and with the brush. And then under here when you you have some pulp in there so when you take this, you put water in there, and it pushes that pulp out to um, clean up the area that the pulp comes out of. So it's not that bad. Well, maybe they meant for you to like replace this once in a while. Piece here came off, and piece here had already been off, but I don't think this one was off. So yeah, it's time for a new filter. I guess that's their way of returning the customer. That's all right. So I'm going to throw this pulp away. Some people might use it in bread or certain, you know, dishes, recipes. I'm just throwing that away. It's great fiber, but you're still getting a little fiber from the juice because when the juice settles, I end up seeing like little bits of debris and stuff. So you're still getting fiber from your juice. If you want maximum fiber, then you need to just use something like a blender or a Nutri Ninja that just blends it and doesn't um, juice it. And that's pretty much it for the juicing. I'm gonna go enjoy this and clean up in here. It's Saturday. Um, I'm just gonna chill, watch YouTube. And uh, relax. I might clean later or tomorrow, actually, because I don't like cleaning on Saturdays. I like it to be my rest day, like it should be. So, cheers to green juicing. Tag me on Instagram, Stylicia, and show me your green juices, please. I would love to see them. Whatever's happening for the 15 minutes, guys, um, whatever your body should look like, how it should feel, everything like that, I'll be verbally talking you through it. I'm very lost to visual devils in the room, aka the people next to you. So, boom to your left, look to your right, try and pick it up real quick with movement pattern, and then I will, again, just cue you back into like, if you're like, oh, we're not here, just on our toes, but I feel like I'm dying. Should I be on my toes? Not necessarily, I'll cue you to be like, hey, if you need to modify, these would be the next option, so on and so forth. Now, all parts of the room.
it's great. So these two white ones down here are going to be your latest resistance here. So I'll let any resistance changes with this frame. So I'll be like, hey, well, let's get my glasses put on one white frame. So we have two right now. I'll already take this one, pop it right off. And you're going to go, I'm like, hey, we're headed to the front. Make sure if you're less than my glasses, put out two white frames. So take that second, I'll put it right back up. Yeah, so it's very important to make sure you make that change from our one front to back. Um, other than that, I'll make any other change for you guys have for money. And then right after you have my GI, so I'm going to throw that bar. There's a lot of things. So we're going to see that one always stays well.
leg in five, arms extend up nice and high. Three, two, and one. Good. Let go of that carriage. Lean inside that machine. Good. And you guys are just going to grab a pair of dumbbells. Good. And just keep kneeling exactly where you are. Love that transition, Alicia. Now, once you guys are there, perfect. Yeah, Paul, chase up. You're nice and slow. And you guys go right into this one. Hell uh, yes. Now, you want to think this one, right? Your palms are nice and tall, so you're rising and then right to the ceiling. Now, Paul, stays up, guys. Paul, stays up. You have a whole time. Otherwise, it'll be shoulder. Just a little bit right now. So as you're lifting and extending, yeah? You guys want to think that your hands are extending outwards. Just a little bit. Beautiful. Nice job, guys. So as you guys work through this range, good. Take a second, right? Big exhale. Might help to change the grip of where you're using your hands, right? But it helps you feel a bit better to have your thumbs up a bit higher. Work with that. It helps you feel a bit better, right? To make sure that your pinkies are moving higher. Work with it, but you're always going to stop with your hands right in line with your shoulder blades. Oh, I was like, what the heck?
to it now. Big thing about this one. Yeah, we're going leg to leg. So what sucks is that your stability muscles right now are really burnt out of the left side. So what does that mean for you guys? You can adjust your body any which way to necessarily help you to get to this muscle failure. Yeah, so this right side, if you're like, hey, my left side hip is doing this one too much. Like we talked about pressure, shake down, feel more firmly to lift above the hip bone. Secondly, you can adjust your body right now. You can grab it higher than a carriage. You can grab those elbows around that bar. Whatever it needs to happen, make sure you're not dumping all the way extra onto that left side. So it's all the way over to the right. Good, you guys are going to take this one. Awesome, awesome job. Heel nice and high in the sky. Beautiful. With that intensity, guys. And as you touch, you're going to hold it right at the top. In seven, six seconds. Hold it at the top. Let's hold it there. In three, two, and one. Hold it at the top. Let's hold it there. All right, great, guys. So I got to Yeah, grab that right hip down. Good. A little extra. Let's just add it, guys. Up two, down one. Three, two, one. Good. Get exactly that. Okay, just get it. Get it going higher. And then jump in there. Only half the way. Come on, now. We can get this one, sister. Let's take this one out for the next ten. Good, take it up, chest is far, team, you're gonna press heavier. 
Peter Hill writes of half like yeah, three, two, one, half up right there. Pause. Yeah, it's going good. Right back down to 90. Three, two, one. That is it, guys. You go bottom half range. You're going three, two, one. Love it. Now you can't you conclude your biceps next to your tray. Reach those arms out. Ready for a little bit of heart rate elevation. All right, that's in your deck of cards. But you guys know this one is 10. Eight seconds. You're going to drop this one in six. Good. You're going to go down to 12 and five. That's full range. It's three, two, one. Down for it. Slow presses and heel rise on up here, guys. Good, good, good. Now your hair is lush. She's pretty nasty, guys. Right? So you guys are working through this one. You guys are here for the next 26 seconds. 26 seconds. You are done with it. Unstable. This is all that we call hair is lush. Here, turn around here. 20. That means your platform left is that, you guys. 15 seconds and 12. Right foot hits your platform. Left foot takes your carriage. 8 seconds with your right knee down to the 90. And we're going to chest and stay forward. 3, 2, 1. Good. So turn around. I'm soaking in sweat. They had some pretty good merchandise too that I'm probably gonna get next time. I'm so exhausted. You put your name on this list and um, check off what you got from the fridge and then they charge your card. Well, that's how it worked for me because I booked with, with on Google. I'm so tired, that was so intense, I loved it. <laughs> 